to um, correct me. That's about all the time we have, though, tonight for Sports Night Live. I'm Erin Wilson. Come back and see us tomorrow. Have a good night. Thanks, Erin. Here's what's coming up next on Cron 4 News at 11, talking about really an issue of our time across the country, but this one's local. Should the pride flag be flown at campus? We're at a local school board meeting tonight where they have to clear out the crowd before ultimately making a controversial decision. Plus, a beloved husband, father, and best friend to many people was killed when somebody ran a red in the East Bay. The lesson he taught that makes uh, death even harder to handle for those he left behind. And then how workers and residents are dealing with that enormous sinkhole and water main break in San Francisco. Lawrence is here with our forecast for the rest of the week. Keep it here. Cross 4 News at 11 starts right after the break. What's the quickest, easiest, most portable way to transform every room in your home? If you have old, ugly, or cheap hollow interior doors, One Day Doors and Closets can replace them in just a few hours with absolutely no messy construction at your home. Something's not right when your doors aren't nice. A nice interior door just elevates the house. And right now, with One Day Doors and Closets, buy any five doors and get another five doors absolutely free. But this offer is only available for a limited time. Schedule your free in-home consultation today. Do you own a house that you just need out of quickly or just needs costly repairs? No worries. John buys Bay Area houses for a cash in any condition. We buy all kinds of houses from inherited or foreclosures to expensive homes that you just need to sell quickly for cash. All with no stress, no hassle, no banks, and no commissions or fees. If you have a property you need to sell, call John buys Bay Area houses for a fast, fair, all-cash offer. Call 510-707-6000. That's 510-707-6000. Minute. I'm here at RT Tires in Dublin. Franco Finn here alongside with Kevin at RT Tires. Now it is travel season. What do people need to think about before heading on their trip? Uh, you know, the safety of your vehicle, your tires especially, the tire pressure, the tread depth. You want to make sure there's no cracking, stuff like that. Okay, safety first indeed. Get them checked here at RT Tires. But how can people also save some money by going to RT Tires? You know, we can save you money by just selling you one tire if that's all you need. We'll give you an honest inspection. Maybe you need a set. We'll let you know. Okay, so get you what you need. Get you on the road. Being safe out there. Travel season, we want to make sure you make it safely out there. Well, the word is out about RT Tires. Okay, so what brings you here to RT Tires? Well, I saw you on TV, and I had a tire blowout. Tim had my tires ready in less than an hour, and now I'm ready for my summer road trip. It's the RT Tire Summer Special. Come on down and see these pros. Get your tires fully inspected. Visit the Dublin store or the Pacheco store and get to traveling and get there safe. Tomorrow on Live in the Bay, the author of Little Chef's First 100 Words is inspiring confidence in the kitchen. Plus, Chef Peter Merriman is cooking us up something special. Live in the Bay, tomorrow at 1 on Cron 4. Cron 4 News at Noon, weekdays. school board meeting gets cleared out after a discussion over flags gets disorderly. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for being with us tonight on Crown 4 News at 11. I'm Grant Lotus. The Sunol Glen Board passed a resolution tonight to only allow the American flag and the California state flag. Importantly, the decision bans pride flags. The vote was two to one, and it came down to what well, was essentially here an empty room once they cleared folks out. You see, around 9 o'clock tonight, the board asked everyone to leave, made them leave, even called in the sheriff's deputies to escort some folks out. The board kicked people out after the meeting became disorderly when some people there felt public comments were too one-sided. At one point, the district superintendent apologized for the district staff being treated with disrespect. I apologize to the Sonoma staff for being treated in this manner. Um,